Or are you just honey? <laughs> We've never hugged before. My over and your under or my under <laughs> here, or are we gonna go crisscross? Or I can pick you up. <gasps> I'm swirling. I'm swirling you. Okay, you ready? Should I run to you? Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, ready? <laughs> okay, ready, go. Hey guys, welcome back. So you might be wondering why there's so much light in this video. <laughs> I'm actually at Charmaine's house today. There she is. Hi. Because you can't see our faces, so you might not be able to know who's, who's who. Because <laughs> apparently we have the same voice too. <laughs> you no, know, my sister watched your video because like she was, she just has my videos on while she's working, and yeah. it just like rolled onto your video, and she's like. Oh, Huxley, wait. wait. <laughs> I was like, how, how do you, do you, I'm your own know. sister. <laughs> how do you not know? So, I've known Charmaine since... Kindergarten. For about, yeah, for about kindergarten. <laughs> Two years, and what you just witnessed was our first hug. Oh. And we thought it just had to be... It had to be done. Yeah, it had to be shown to the whole universe. Because we met in the time of COVID. Yep. So we obviously like couldn't hug. And normally my norm is to hug people, like hug friends. Like I'm actually a hugger, but- I'm not a hugger. Yeah, I yeah. figured she doesn't look like a hugger. <laughs> I approached her, so she doesn't look like a hugger. And also it was the time of COVID, so it just didn't make sense. And yeah. so yeah, we had our first hug and I, I thought it was really great. Yeah, and I think that now we just reached a new level in our friendship and like there's mm -hmm. no going back now. Um, I have like a good amount of blackmail on you. You have a lot of blackmail on me. I do. Yeah. I do. So. Like you've seen me projectile throw up and then strip outside of a car. Yeah. Just now I thought maybe I didn't flush the toilet when you went in after me. Did I? <laughs> yeah, you did. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I, I really thought about it. I was like, oh, oh, <laughs> I think, I think we reached un unlocked another yeah. level but yeah we had to make it official so yeah. yeah thank you for being there with us in that special moment <laughs> you probably come here from Charmaine's channel where we had part one of this video and this is just kind of like we got some plants that need repotting pulling and just some general care and we just want to talk about things that grind our gears about the plant grind community in the most lighthearted way possible. Yeah. So yeah, um, we covered some juicy things in Charmaine's video. Just a few things. We have a lot of feelings and we just so want to talk about them. Um, so yeah, and now we have plants to TLC. She's actually going to be helping me with my plants. Yeah, because I finished all my plants. These are what I worked on in Charmaine's video. So if you want to check those out. We've got Cuties. lots of lazy pulls happening right now. Right now. Just right, just right, just right now. <laughs> just right now. <laughs> okay. And uh, she's going to be working on my Splendid that I have neglected so much. Yeah. Um, I just stuck it in my tent and I haven't really done much, but it definitely needs a pull. The internodes are way too long. Like, are we chopping it? Should I? Because it's already so tall, but then the, I'm going to have to reroute. How about you just do whatever you want? And I am repotting this Philodendron Majestic that has needed a repot for a long time. It's on one of these like poles that I don't like and it's just, it's icky. It gives me the ick. Yeah, and it has that gross like... It's like got ash. Um, no, like the, the poles have that waxy yeah, kind of texture. Yeah, I don't like it. Well, yeah. I just don't like it. Um, and we're gonna make a D-shaped pole together. Mm -hmm. I've never made um, one before. Yeah, you made kind of one. But the, the lazy yeah, way. The lazy way, yeah. We're gonna make a full on <laughs> one together. And I've only made one before. But that's one more than she's made. Yes, so. exactly. Yeah. So now. All right, we're just gonna get started on mm -hmm. some topics while we repost. Some juicy topics. Honestly, just, it, yeah, it feels good to like get it out and then just not think about it again. Mm hmm. Like, Talk therapy is so great. And I was 
wonder, is it just me? Yeah, is it just like, am I just a grouch or something? Mm -hmm. Or am I, yeah, it's, it's kind of nice to know that like people can relate to you or like you're not in your own head and you're like valid in your feelings, you know? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. I ripped off all those roots. Oh. Crud. So, the first one is one that I've always wanted to put a PSA on. Mm. And I don't think that people talk about it that much, but surely this must annoy people. When people tag you in giveaways and they don't follow you. It's weird. It's just so weird. It's so strange and it's... I don't know why it makes me so angry, but it really makes me angry. Cause every time someone pegs me in a giveaway, I, first thing I do is I check if they follow me. Mm -hmm. And if they don't follow me, I block them. Yeah. Yeah. That's valid. That's valid. But like my entire block list is just people who tag me in giveaways, <laughs> but that don't follow me, specifically don't follow me. Cause that's just so creepy. It's weird. Like why do you remember? You remember my handle. The handle. You typed it in. Unless it's like bots that do that. I, I really, I, it's so confusing. What's, what's the point? Is it literally like that? they don't have enough people to tag? And if that's the case, the least you can do is follow that person. Yeah. Cause it's like, okay. And not just that. It's like, I already don't see enough of my actual engagement, like comments and mm. mentions and stuff. Like it just gets hidden in all of the notifications. So it's like, if I miss an actual comment from someone that's like trying to talk to me or like is asking for help and I miss it because you are tagging me multiple <laughs> times in different giveaways, it's just like, I don't need to see it. Like I don't want it in my notifications. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, like obviously we've both done giveaways and giveaways are already kind of like annoying sort of. Well, some people don't want to be tagged at all. Well, I, yeah. I don't mind being tagged. Like, so if you want to tag me, yeah. that's fine. Right. <laughs> if you don't follow me, you're getting blocked. Yeah. <laughs> You've been warned. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, I don't know, really know why it makes me so mad. Because it's just weird. It is creepy, right? It's weird. Yeah. It's like someone sending you a holiday card and they don't even, you don't even know them. Like, why do I need to uh, get that in that my mail? to you? <laughs> it's no. Never to it's you. never happened. But that would be weird. That would be weird. It would yeah. be weird. Yeah. So it's just, just don't do it. It's just bad. It's just bad etiquette, I feel. Yeah. You know, and especially let's say like you win the giveaway and you win it yeah. based on an entry where you don't even follow that person. Yeah, because it the rules are tag a friend. <laughs> yeah, tag a friend, someone you know. Yeah, someone you know. Know of or like, you know, I just, yeah, just weird. I don't like it. I don't yeah. like it. I've blocked people too for that reason mm -hmm. just because I don't need that extra notification when I want to be seeing stuff I need to engage in or want to engage in mm -hmm. like it gets lost and i think that once you hit 10k like instagram already kind of condenses your stuff so much um in your yeah like if someone likes a comment or replies to a comment sometimes i don't see it yeah at all. yeah exactly i need a piece too oh I'm sorry. you want it that wide um well Ugh. i feel like mine is yeah, I feel like this is fun. Do you think that's okay? I thought it was clear back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I was like, that's really wide. I got confused. <laughs> oh, no, she got confused. Yeah, maybe a little bit thinner. Like, but not half. Not half. Yeah. Maybe. maybe use the shears. Like, like I'm thinking like this. I'm going to go like this. Okay. <laughs> Wait, okay, okay I'll go one more. What? <laughs> oh my god. You get that? Um so yeah, that's definitely a it's a pet peeve. It's it's not like I hate that person, but just don't do it. Just don't uh, do it. It's just very weird. Yeah, that's that's what it is. It's weird and it's kind of creepy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just don't do it. And if I do a giveaway, don't do that to people in my giveaway. Mm -hmm. Just tag your actual people you yeah, follow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, that was an easy one. Yeah, that was, I feel like we started off, we eased into it. Yeah. Is it Jinx in the Supermore? Um, Speaking of Jinx. Oh, yeah. Speaking I have been wanting to get this off my chest for a really long time. There's some tea, y'all. Yeah. 
Welcome to the roast of Jing. <laughs> You have to put like a fire, <laughs> fire text. You guys probably heard me talk about Jing a ton. Jing is an angel Jing, on earth. Let me tell you a thing or two about this woman. This scoundrel. <laughs> this scoundrel. Yeah, scoundrel. She's, she is the definition of scoundrel. So <laughs> Jing is, if you don't know, is the admin of the, the main plant group in Vancouver. It's the one that I mod for. I yeah. mentioned it before that I'm a moderator in a local plant group and it's her group. Yeah. And she created this group just to bring people together, talk about plants, buy, sell, trade, um, share care tips and stuff. Does she even realize how many people's lives she's changed? She just walks like, around. Oh, I'm so doing, like, I'm just changing <laughs> lives. Oh, no, oh. no big deal. <laughs> Life-changing friendships and just like... A, just another day in my life being Jing. <laughs> and you know what else she does? You can you probably need to trim this down a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, she'll just like come drop off wish list plants yeah. for free. Like she'll be like, oh, do you want this plant? And I'm like, yeah, how much is it? She's like, nothing. It's like at your doorstep for yeah. like an hour. Yeah, and sometimes she won't even stick around to like see my reaction. She's just like, yeah, I just left it there for you. She's just an angel. And I just think that, yeah, like all of our lives would be so different if she didn't have this group. Yeah. And like as a mod who's only been doing it for like a year now or something, like you guys don't even realize how much stuff she's put up with in the yeah. last few years running this group. Like she's had threats of people coming to her house. Yeah. She's been called every name in the book. Yeah. Racist she's slurs. So professional. I will bet that there is no better run group than Jane's group. Because no. she's like not only are the rules like very clear, but in those little gray area times, mm -hmm. she just spends so much time talking to people and listening to them and they're mm -hmm. like hysterical. And she's just yeah, she's such a you know, she's a mom and she just mm -hmm. has that sort of like comforting nature about herself. Yeah, and she's like, so fair. Yeah, she makes people feel heard yep. and seen mm -hmm. and like just spends so much time. And so I get really amped up when people come for her saying that she's like a dictator. A dictator <laughs> and like she doesn't care and she's just, she wants it all to be about her group. And I'm like, nobody realizes how much she's put up with. Yeah. You know, and like, she like, admins. They're not making any money mm -mm. from from admining for a group, and on top of that, she's like she works. She has two kids now, a puppy, and mm -hmm. she just has all the time for people. Well, I mean, not all the time. Like, don't try to she, take up more. Time. No, but no. she spends a lot of her time dealing with crap. She really doesn't need to be dealing with. Yeah. Oh. I'm just gonna follow your Okay, I'm just folding about a centimeter. Okay. Mine is probably... Is like... oh. No. No, I think you're fine. Oh my gosh, my chicken nuggets. Yes. Chicken nuggets, chicken nuggets. Yeah, nice. what do you want to talk about for Jane? Um, like, what? Ha how has she wronged you? Oh God, this bitch. <laughs> Wrong me. Well, I've talked about this in um, one of my videos. I can't remember which video it was, but my first experience in the group was not a great one. Um, it's when I got the envy. Oh. So there. Oh yeah. I, I did a video. It's called how I almost or how I was accused of being a scammer. Mm. Maybe I'll send Alice the thumbnail so you know what I'm talking about. But basically. This group of girls locally were like going around scamming people and I was one of them, but they would like reverse psychology it and make you to be out the scammer. Mm -hmm. So if they don't get the refund that they're looking for. Yeah, if they for. don't get what they want, yeah. then they just automatically paint you as a scammer. So this was like my first few months being in the group and automatically I'm being targeted by this group and then they're like writing reviews on me on like Canada wide pages saying that like, I, yeah, I scammed them and I'm just like, oh my gosh. And then it leaked into our local group and I didn't know Jing at the time, mm. personally. I just knew she was the admin. You were like in the group for like a month. Or yeah, something. it was yeah. so new. And mm -hmm. I just randomly get this message from her saying, 
I just want to let you know that this situation was brought up to me and I didn't see any wrongdoing on your part and I just wanted to give you a heads up in case it comes back around and I already knew obviously what she was talking about but um yeah she didn't have to like spend all that time listening to every detail about something that didn't even happen in the group yeah like this happened outside the group the transaction but this person went to Jing to try and get me kicked out of the group and Jing handled the entire situation when she honestly could have just told her it had nothing like, to do with yeah, it. Yeah, not my problem. Yeah, and yeah. then to reach out to me personally who never even talked to her and just was giving me a heads up that, you know, this person was going around saying all these things and she listened to what she had to say. She looked at the evidence and didn't see that I did anything wrong. Yeah, and Jing, even when she's talking to someone super vile and just like, throwing insults at her and things. She's just like, she never loses her cool. Yeah. And <laughs> she'll just end with that handshake emoji. Yeah. <laughs> like we're done here. <laughs> Jing is just, she's so annoying. Like who yeah. is even that way? <laughs> Why is she the way that she is? Why is she the way that she is? Someone raised their child, right? Oh my gosh. And now Jing is raising like two girls to be like upstanding <sighs> citizens. How could she? <sighs> Could she? I made it less, um, I made this narrower so that this could be more, more curved. Oh. So it's not like this like fat, shallow. Do you think that's too fatty? Should I make it? Yeah, I'll make it yeah. But there's good news. The chicken nuggets are here. Yes. Chicken nuggets have arrived. I don't think I've ever been to Charmaine's house without eating chicken nuggets. It's just her thing. <laughs> Why are you staring at me? Charmaine walked, walked to the door and did one of those, um, oh, what's that movie? Flashy. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let's eat first and then we'll okay. continue. So, be right back. Chicken nuggets, delicious. I'm so but full now. I'm still angry about Jing. Yeah, so we're still <laughs> she is the reason why I'm super into Hoyas. And then that then made Charmaine into Hoyas as well. And we were drive me into the damn. Yeah. Field. And you can't just like start liking Hoyas and not get like swept up by like the hundreds and hundreds of there's different so Hoyas many. to collect and there's and then like you start liking all the different kinds of Hoyas and I like Hoyas now that I thought were gross before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's because of Jing. And then I feel like I like the ones that I didn't like before because of you. So it's just like this- Yeah, this like circle. <laughs> just never ends. Yeah. And I feel like we're getting super close to getting Erin. Yeah. She's resisting. She likes like the variegated ones and some of the silvery ones, but I yeah. think as soon as she likes her first gross one, we it's got over. her. Yeah. It's over. I think everyone deserves a Jing, but Jings are really hard to find. They are really hard to find, but you don't, don't give up. Yeah, don't, I, yeah, that's the thing, don't, don't give, give up. up. Find your Jing. Find your Jing and never let her go. Okay, I'm just punching holes now. I think that's good, right? Two in between? Yeah. Yeah. I just wish they would be a little less crazy. I, I know. Out more. Because it's like a whole thing. We can't like just leave them and then yeah. do our thing. I mean, like they would be fine because they'll just... I don't think Huxley can get into trouble so yeah. much because there's just punch to play with. Yeah. We can't film. No. We wouldn't be able to hear anything. <laughs> yeah. I like these. But I also really like the curved ones because it really grabs this like a thicker stem. Mm -hmm. I that's the one that I got from Art Napstery. Oh the recent one. Yeah. Yeah. Ow. Did you hurt yourself? No. Oh, but you wanna um Zip tie one side first. Oh yeah. Yeah, and then close it. Clearly, I've already forgotten everything. <laughs> okay, I think we roasted Jing. Yeah, enough. she got roasted pretty good. Yeah. 
So the next topic I wanted to talk about kind of goes off of what Charmaine talked about in her video. So you've probably already seen that part where she talked about elitists and gatekeepers. So what really grinds my gears sometimes, not all the time, it really depends on the delivery and how, how um, someone would do this, but when people are just like posing as an educator on things that like either they have no business educating on or it's simply just to make themselves look really smart, but really they just copied and pasted mm -hmm. from actual botanists yeah. or Google. Um, and it's like, like why try and fake that you are like an encyclopedia if yeah. you're not? And a lot of the time too, it's like, that's how misinformation is spread. Yeah, because you don't provide the context or like- No sources, yeah. you just take the top like results from Google, your Google search mm -hmm. and then- And then you lay it out like fact. Yeah, like when... you've, you've really researched it, you've studied it. Yeah you've experimented with it, observed it. That's like, there's so much that goes into like making sure that information is correct, you know? I think oftentimes because they want to come across as the expert, then they they deliver the information in a way that's like, this is all you need to know, look no further. And then that's, that's the problem I have with it is then people who are newer to the hobby or newer to, I don't know, like the plant community, then they're like, oh, okay, like, yeah, that's all, that's all I ever need to know. And then, mm -hmm. then they then tell their friends and it's like, this is how information gets spread. Yeah. And then people start to, you know, make plant care really like black and white, which yeah. it's not black and white. No, there's like so much more to it. And I don't know, I just don't get the point of trying to make it seem like like you just know this information and... Yeah. Just, like you're gonna tell me that you just, on the top of your head, you know the whole history of this plant, who cultivated it, who hybridized it, what year it, it was what collected, year it was collected <laughs> the region, like yeah. I know for every single plant, come on. Like, yeah, that's not, that's not a thing. And like a lot of the times they're stealing information that has been researched by other people. And it's like, if you're gonna copy and paste, at least, at least cite where you got it from. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, it's like the theme is the ick. Yeah. This is another term that icks me out is tips and tricks. Oh, um. <laughs> even though I have, I have a tips and tricks highlight. But I, but, I, but I named it Trix, T-R-I-X, because it's so ick. Oh. <laughs> Tips and tricks are like, you know, snappy and fun and, and it gets like engagement. So then people then just start making more and more, but they're kind of like nonsense tips and tricks. It's like something that could just be a sentence or like yeah. a picture turns into an entire video of something that's like... I just, I guess like I just don't like that kind of content where it was like, I felt my, my time was wasted. <laughs> yeah. I feel like, I guess people do, like some people would get value out of it, but it feels a bit cheap to me. You know what I yeah, mean? It's yeah, it's just like, not really. Give them something of more, like get substance. Like, yeah, you could teach a man to fish but kind of you thing. you can't make him fry fish. it. Fish, yeah. <laughs> but you gotta give him a fishing pole. Right, yeah, so pole. yeah, I I much prefer <laughs> the, the educational content where you give the viewers a fishing pole, not just like listen to what I say because I'm the expert. And then like, just take it as fact. Yeah, take it as fact. And then um, when people ask questions, it's just like, oh yeah, I, I don't know, just that's just based on what like I think that blah blah blah. It's like if you're gonna educate on something, you better be able to answer everyone's questions, mm -hmm. you know, or else just don't, just don't. Or at least just say where your source is so those people can like go and get the right information from the person you got it from. Stole it from, <laughs> yeah. I just hate that like the Instagram algorithm is just like making, it's just, it, it it's, just feels yeah. like a different platform It these forces days. you into a corner kind of. Yeah. yeah. Cause like I get, you know, some people rely on their socials for their income and like you just kind of have to do what you have to do. 
But if you're not, if you're purely just a hobbyist, like, don't give them what they want. Yeah. <laughs> and then what about like, people that like, collect every single oh, yeah. plant just to collect like, it? I think, I think most people, most collectors will go through this like stage where they're like, they're just like mad collecting everything because they just don't, like, they're just so into the hobby. Mm -hmm. So they're just like, I'm going to buy everything because like every time I buy a plant it makes me happy. Yeah. Um, but then I feel like there's just also some people that just want the sheer quantity mm -hmm. and somehow that gives them validation. It's like they just have it so that say, they say they have it, not because they actually want yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And then like, do, like, do you really like this plant that's really hyped up or do you just, it's like, this is like a notch in your belt, like. And it just like makes me, I just don't like the idea that plants are being used as a status symbol. Yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah. plants are so precious. They don't want to be used as a status <laughs> symbol. <laughs> like, do that you guys, oh, you should, I uh, should. I'm gonna insert a clip of the little corns that Charmaine harvested off her cupria. Would you want to like, use that these little yeah. precious things as status for symbol? clout? No. no. It's oh god, it's so wonky up top. Is oh it? no. Oh no. How did it get this way? Oh. I don't know. This is my first deep hole, and I feel like it's a disaster. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna leave it upside down so the wonky part is in the substrate. Oh, there we go. Look at oh her. I guess the real issue that I have with it is when it's really obvious someone's putting out educational content without the intention to actually educate people, it's just to make themselves seem like an expert on something mm -hmm. when really anyone has access to that information, but it's like it's really hard to explain unless you like see it in action. And for me, I, I almost feel like it's more so like they're just doing it for the sake of getting more followers. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like they obviously do it on things that are super obvious Yeah. because it doesn't take a lot of work to actually research something with substance because they can quickly access this information make a cute little reel on it and then rake in a bunch of followers that get attracted to this reel. Yeah. And and then again, it's the way they word it that makes it super teachy. But then when you ask a question that wasn't on your little cheat sheet, wherever you got it from, then they can't answer it. And that's what I don't like. It's like, if you're going to teach something, be able to really teach it and like, you say it with your whole chest. <laughs> Yeah, it's, I, I just feel like, I mean, it's pretty ballsy to do that in general is like just at, like market yourself as a, like the be all and end all expert on, on something like anything, because then you're just like setting yourself up for a failure. Mm -hmm. Like, even if I feel super confident in something, I always like put out the disclaimer that like, this is what works for me. This was my experience is not like, you know, I'm not a freaking botanist. Yeah. And we, we are not botanists. We are not botanists. I repeat. Yeah. Not botanists. Like I, okay, but I also think it's like, I feel like there's nothing wrong with putting out information there, like making like cheat sheets. Like, you know, people that do like those graphics of like all the different pothos or like, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Monsteras, like those no. are cool. No, I like those too. Those, but those don't come off as just like a come, come sit down and, and let me teach you something. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's like just, I, yeah. It's just it's all in the delivery. Yeah, yeah. I think that's and what it is. I think the intentions come across pretty clearly. Is like I'm I, I'm doing this because I genuinely want to teach things. Like for example, Daryl is just genuinely teaching something that he's like. He has an understanding of, like, for example, light. Like a deep understanding. Yeah, and like, it, he's breaking it down in a way that us, like, mortals don't understand. Um, Say it to me like I'm five. Yeah. yeah, no, I just, like, I just, 
Maybe not everyone can, but I can see pretty clearly through these kinds of accounts and I just don't, I just don't engage with them. But it, you know, yeah, it doesn't mean we hate them. It's just kind of annoying to see like, there's just so much content now on, yeah. on social media that's not really what feels necessary or like, like it's just the same stuff over and over and over and over again. Yeah. And honestly, I think that's why I like to not, that's why I just tell stories and like talk about stupid shit because I don't have anything to teach, nor do I want to. Yeah, I feel like sometimes it's like, I, I don't know what to talk about because like if it's too basic, then you're just insulting your viewers. Yeah. Then like, duh, obviously, obviously. The soil needs to have duration. Um, and you can't get this kind of Ethereum to climb a pole or like... <laughs> yeah, didn't someone ask you that recently? Yeah, like... someone... Well, so I made my lazy pole video and someone DM'd me and was like, Oh, how come you don't make them for Ethereum? And I mean, like, you know, there are like pendant leaf Ethereums that do in the wild. They'll grow on the sides of trees, Brokeweanum, mm. um, Politiflorum, those kinds oh, of things. Politiflorum? Hang... I don't know how they get up there, but then they, they want to go downwards. Yeah, and then, but then they're always in the trees. How do they the get trees. up in the trees? The this time. is why we don't teach anything. Yeah. How did they get in the trees? Did they, did, did the wind carry them the up there? The pollen and the, the sap. But no, it's like, yeah, normal, like all of the Ethereums, most of the Ethereums I have, they're not climbers. Yeah, just, but they're, yeah, like, oh, you should show your Ecuadorans because oh, yeah. that's a climbing Ethereum. And you can see the stem. You can see like sometimes anthuriums have like a very almost like a philodendron type stem where it's just there's long internodal spacing and it wants to go you can see that it's just growing upwards yeah and it's not like like that like there's a very clear stem oh. long you internodal throw your old stem oh, no oh oh here yeah so this is the stem that she chopped off and you can see the internodes are a lot more spaced out and it's not like this like thick, chunky stem like Let me grab we're used to seeing. Like on a crystallinum or forgetii, where they're like the internodes are literally like millimeters are apart. Like if you look at the stem, those petioles are stacked directly on top of each other. And like it's just it's very different. Yeah, so something like this would be climbing something like, if I'll throw up, if I can find a picture of like one that I used to have, it doesn't live anymore. Oh no, um, what is the it? The Kutukwens. Oh. That one's a climbing anthurium, but then like, I think they're kind of few and far between mm -hmm. compared to the ones that like probably aren't gonna climb anything. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's like I, I wouldn't obviously do a lazy pull for my dark phoenix because you'd be actually obstructing a space where a possible leaf could come from because they don't always just grow like in the center mm -hmm. or like in the front. They can grow 360. Yeah. They kind of just shoot out wherever they want. Yeah. And then you're not really like the pole isn't going to do anything. It's not doing anything. Yeah. So I wouldn't like... Yeah. yeah, but I am a fan of like building little moss piles around the stem because mm -hmm. as they grow up, they're going to keep shooting out roots above the substrate. Yeah, it's more of a, like a nutrient thing or... Yeah, and just to make sure those new roots stay hydrated. Nice and yeah. And we got so off topic. I know. <laughs> How did we get here? I'm we so started lost. educating. I'm so... Oh no, we're educating. <laughs> we're so annoying. I'm going to thumbs down this video. <laughs> okay, so I chopped her splendid. Are you done with the pond? I'm just gonna put it here. So it's wow. on a pole. Chop the top off because the plant on its own was already like the entire length of the pole. I feel like I could have cut one more node, you know? If you want to keep this on the same pole for a lot longer. Um, or do you want to keep it? I think that's okay. Okay. Or, I mean, yeah, this is pretty long actually. Mm -hmm. You could probably chop one more. Chop in one more. Chop in. So I think we have just 
explained what we were trying to get across, which is I think so much of it, of maybe the annoyance or the ick comes from the delivery. Yeah, 100% like, delivery. I feel like for me, I always tell people I'm an idiot and like, don't take my word for it, right? Mm -hmm. So it's one thing to like say, you know, I don't know a lot about this, but this is what I've learned. And then there's another thing to just come off as like matter of factly. And like, I've done like my observations and experience and you know, I didn't just grab this off of yeah. a Google page. I mean, I think, I think um, my annoyance comes from also like annoyance in my in my work industry of the same kind of people where they oh. just like they just want to be the expert at, at whatever cost and um so i work in specialty coffee and my, my job is to to train people how to be a barista but then there are so many people in the industry that just want to be the expert but they don't actually want the people that they're educating to get better <laughs> like uh, I, I always, yeah, like I always want everyone I teach to be better than me. Yeah. Like, but I think there are people that teach them, but like intentionally hold them down so yeah. that they don't like Out outdo them. you. Yeah. 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 So I think like a lot of my frustrations kind of stem from frustrations with these types of people in my, in my work life. So, I mean, it's everywhere. It's obviously not just in the plant community. It's just, mm -hmm. there's just kind of people like that, you know? Yay! We did it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. This looks kind of weird from the back. It's like um, showing the butt. It's like, like the pants it's and just mooning the butt. you from the back here. Do you want to cover it? No, because it's just going to be in the in the XO or the tent. Anyway, look, mine yeah. has a butt too. Oh. <laughs> a big butt. It's just like it's spreading long, yeah. the cheeks. <laughs> That's all right. That is fine. So you know how I chopped my Majestic no. in my propagation video? Oh, yeah. I just chopped the top off? Yeah, yeah. Like I let it count overnight and basically it was like liquid the next morning. <laughs> Like what? Like it was Why? so soft. I don't know. It perked back up in water, but like oh I've never gosh. seen it, a plant go so soft. You know how like when you import a queen, yeah, and it comes like like dry, like or wet like tissue, spinach. <laughs> yeah, wet spinach. Yeah, it was like that. Bright as the sun. Yeah, it burns. <laughs> it's so dark. It got really dark because you know what just happened. Um, we talked for like twenty, 20 minutes. minutes. Um, and I didn't hit record. <laughs> Freaking Alice. We're potting up her Campos Mortuanum. Yeah. She chopped the top off and then I'm getting it on a lazy pole. I'm sorry. No, you're <laughs> fine. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I just don't, I'm not liking this. Look at. I mean, you could just tape it temporarily while you're constructing it. True. Charmaine's just grabbing some tape. Um, so one last thing I wanted to just touch on, which is not really like a plant community thing, it's just like something I haven't really talked about much on my channel, but it is like a topic um, of interest to me, which is why I don't show my face in my videos and um, why it seems to bother a lot of people, a lot. Um, someone even went on to Charmaine's Instagram and or I forget it was Instagram or YouTube, but I was saying like like they refuse to watch my videos because they don't support the headless YouTuber brand, and like that's fine. You don't have to watch it. Like as much as um, it would be nice if everyone would enjoy our content. If you don't, then like don't it don't consume content you don't enjoy. But I just kind of want to like talk about why I don't show my face. It's not like a laziness thing so much as like it's it's definitely the only way I'm able to make YouTube videos. And um, I thought about waiting until I was ready to be in front of a camera, and that's like kind of been my the whole last year 
is like when I feel comfortable being in front of a camera, I'll start a YouTube channel. And then like, I just realized that day was never gonna come. Mm -hmm. And she's been talking about this for a while, or we've been talking yeah, about her making yeah. a channel for And a obviously, while. yeah, you being on YouTube kind of really gave me more um, courage to do it myself. But we're both in the same boat where if we have a camera on us, we're not going to be able to be, be ourselves. Um, so as much as some people find it uncomfortable to look at, to watch YouTube videos of someone and not be able to see their face talking to them, um, I actually think it's way more uncomfortable to watch someone who's uncomfortable in front of the camera and i find that super like secondhand cringe yeah so i would be so awkward i would just like feel so bad for that person yeah. like i don't want to be so I'm pitied. Sorry. yeah <laughs> um yeah and that's basically that's basically it like i if i had to show my face i would not be making youtube videos um i've spent time filming videos with my face and um, uploading it and just like hating it and feeling not good about myself and then deleting the whole thing starting over and I'm not wasting that time anymore. Time is very precious. Oh, it's so precious. <laughs> it's like we still like to, you know, spend time with our partners and our dogs. Yeah. And, like there's so much more to like our lives than just plants and YouTube. And so, like, to spend a whole, like, day or a few days filming something yeah. just to scrap it. Yeah, and then, like, do you ever, like, just come downstairs and they're like, Oh, you're done filming, we can hang out now? And you're yeah. like, no, it sucks, I have to redo it. I'm sorry, it. <laughs> I'm not done yet, I just yeah. came down for water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just thirsty. And they're like, oh, like, it's sad. Yeah. Like, that, that's not, that's not really the point. Like, but my point really is that, like, if I... If you can just do it all in one go and feel good about it mm -hmm. and not have to second guess whether you're going to have to refilm or not, then yeah, because yeah. it's like you're still working full time, you know, like you don't just have all this time to burn yeah. talking to yourself in front of a camera. <laughs> yeah. And like, I don't, I just know, like, at least for the time being, me being in front of a camera feels um, uncomfortable, but even worse is me actually watching back the footage and having to edit it and like realizing that like this footage is actually like permanent it's going to be uploaded it's onto forever you. yeah it's so different than just sitting in front of a group of people and talking to them mm -hmm. um, which is what i do all the time in my work is just like address a group of people and have all the attention on you like i'm okay with that because it's in the moment yeah. like youtube is being publicly uploaded for just anyone to watch it's it's pretty like it's kind of scary it is scary in a way yeah it is scary I, yeah i just sometimes i'm like i always second guess like am i sure i want to be doing this mm -hmm. like, and especially like people online can just be so mean you know? yeah so i guess like it's the, the same it's really like the exact same message I want to say, mm -hmm. um, which is what you said before, countless of times. And I feel like this is probably not going to be your first time needing to explain yourself. I feel mm. like as your channel grows, yeah, it's it's going to be questioned, you know, because I get it pretty often now. And yeah, yeah annoying, they're not going to but... see every time that you talk about it. They're not yeah. going to see the message. And I think well, the majority, the vast majority of people like get it. And they're like, whatever makes you comfortable. It's about the plants anyway. And then some people are really offended by the lack of a face. Yeah. Um, and like, I can't really do anything for you in that regard right now. Like, yeah. I, 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 once I feel comfortable, then. If you ever do. Yeah, if I, I ever do. Even just sitting down and like saying the first words of an introduction. Oh my gosh, like, she's so, and it's just me here. I know. She's, she's like this. <laughs> it takes so long for me to warm up even and then if if the camera was showing my face oh, oh, oh. oh. yeah yeah so and that's yeah. what it comes down to it's really like there's no incentive for us to not show our face yeah like it's not gonna help us in any way no it's really not and we understand that but it's like that's just kind of the reality of things and yeah because like it's what's worse it's a smaller channel, but actual active channel or just like yeah. never 
filming or like it feeling like awful yeah. when you do film because you're just like not happy with how you, how you come off on camera. Yep. Totally. This is repotted now. Teeny tiny lazy pole. Oh, it's so cute. And then this is big mama down at the bottom. Not bad. Check your messages. So yeah, that's it. Um, that's that's all I wanted to say on the headless thing. I think that's it for our topics today. I think we ran out of steam, to be honest. Steam, <laughs> we light. came in really hot. And, oh, yeah, yeah we and ran out of light too. And I think Pudge is gonna blast through that door. Oh, yeah, I can't he wait. is so crazy. When Alice is here, it's like you it's, can it's smell the Frenchie on me. Oh my gosh, yeah. I know. Um, but this was obviously our first collab, but there will be more. We're importing again. Yes. I'm so Wait, excited. It's, it might be here as early as a month from now. Mm -hmm. Maybe six late weeks. Late March? Yeah. No. Oh yeah, late March. Yeah, yeah, late yeah, March. Late March. Yeah. So we'll do like an unboxing and show and tell of what we all got. Mm -hmm. Oh, we do have to repot Aaron's massive bird of paradise. Yeah, this thing is probably like 10 feet tall. Probably, yeah. yeah. 10, probably, yeah, 10 feet tall is about right, because these are yeah. nine foot ceilings. Yeah. So about 10 feet, and um, it's gonna take like three people probably. But I think other than that, we are done. Yeah. There's so many poles in here. Oh my right gosh, now. there's just poles everywhere. But it's amazing because like these are things that I've needed I needed to do for a while. So. Yeah. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed it, remember to like it and any ideas for future collabs. Oh yeah, leave it in a comment. Mm -hmm. I need ideas. <gasps> Is there something on my face? There's moss on your face. I feel like <laughs> oh, hope you have a great rest of your weekend and we shall see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>